Okay, add it in. My name is Bruno, and I became a black person. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Run it back now. <laughs> Run it back. <laughs> Play it. It's so good. Play it. It's so good. Please. Oh, okay, okay, shit. Okay. The instant one. My name is Bruno, and I became a black person. <laughs> No one knew that I was actually black when I had my white makeup on. For six weeks, two Nigga. families, my family and black family, got together in a house in the valley in LA. And we decided to start. No, it's really bad. What? Would go into <laughs> it's really bad. It's really bad. Listen, it's really bad. We became black. Yo! Okay, that's, hey, hey, that's award winning blackface, okay? <laughs> Put some respect uh, on the blackface. <laughs> Oh, I cannot oh, believe Somebody it. needs to make that a fucking that that fucking somebody just needs to give me a clip of that start, man. At first at first I you were at shit. first you're gonna get annoyed with the with the black family because like the dad is like very clearly into it. But oh. then by like episode three, he's like, oh my god, Bruno's racist as fuck, dude. Came white. Then we moved in together. We're talking living together, you know. She it's was not great. like I really you know, know you are gonna see him for a little Wait, party, and get together? together, and they go their way, and we go our way. No, at oh, night perfect. we all live under the same roof. <laughs> the whole experience it opened my eyes oh, just made me bad. more aware of my race. <laughs> I'm a pioneer in this because this is something that's never been done. Changing it's color to pioneer. see what it would be like it was that's completely cool. transformative. We got jobs, went shopping. <laughs> yeah, look at him we being a black man get pulled over. Hunger. We were undercover and we had. <laughs> no, no, no. It's <laughs> sneaking around. Yo, this no. dude is a white guy. <laughs> they did it all. They go to the fucking first, uh, first African Methodist church, bro. <gasps> it's fucking, it's crazy. It's like. It was made for me to watch. No, oh, yeah, that's how I felt when I first when that, when you, I saw you, this video. I was you like, get this like, is, this is like, oh, this is this. This is, this is juicy. <laughs> this is unironic fucking. I'm gonna go tingle. This is so good. This is so good. We're the Wurgles. A, the Wurgle family. Uh, typical white American family from Santa Monica. I just wanted to really poke into the like issue hitting. of race and see if any flames would emerge. My mindset in life, I get from my father. As an immigrant, came to this country starting from scratch. Italian. And demonstrated that you get what you want by working extremely hard. I know what slavery stands for. I don't know how to play. I was curious to see how the world would react as a black person. Many times this I was like, shocked. What is this? It's like a skit. Bro, it's so good. We every part of this, sparks. dude, every part of this show is gold, okay? Every part of this. And like, Ice Cube defended it like last year. He was like, yo, this is a great fucking show. You guys don't understand it. <laughs> like, you guys don't understand the message. He had a LL Cool J moment. <laughs> oh, man, dude. He probably just defended it because he, he knows that song is slamming like a motherfucker. Yeah, it's a good... It's Family. We just a typical black family from Atlanta. White family here, Vietnamese here, white here, Mexican here. Oh, the Very diverse, just yeah. like the UN. Well, right? yeah, Brian Growing is up like... in Michigan has light skin, green eyes, uh, big afro back in the mm -hmm. early 70s. It was tough. I had to fight the dog. Oh yeah, this is, what, this is what Ice Cube said. The show is too real for America to accept. <laughs> it was a, one of the top FX, uh, one of FX's top rated reality shows and they dropped it because of how hard it hit home the white couple got a divorce after doing the show because of what was discovered during filming what was discovered during filming is that the dad was a racist yeah that's it <laughs> black white was extremely powerful because those because they got divorced <laughs> yeah <laughs> Dude, white women need to do a reality tv show and prance around in blackface for six weeks to realize their husband is racist. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, he, he wrote except yeah. except instead of, you know, except. There was another, um, you know, there was another show kind of like this, but way less funny. What? It was called... Um, the British one? No, it was on like PBS. It was called like The White Project or The Whiteness Project or something. No way. Yeah, you can, you can look it up like... Whatever, like it's it's called the whiteness something, and they had what the premise of the show was to have white people talking about like whiteness, just like they just literally gave him a camera and let him sit down like this, and they were just like, now talk about your whiteness, and I think they canceled it or they stopped doing it because 
every almost like clockwork damn near every person they interviewed just started talking about like black people or just started talking about oh how much they hated oh my like, god i have to watch this oh. that's so good yeah like oh. it, it's, it's it's like unprovoked they all just started right. bringing up right they were like so they were like talk about yourself as a white person in america and they were like well my family's from here and I just think the Mexicans should go home, personally. Oh my God. It was just like, it took, it didn't take any provoking. There was no, no one told him to say, it, it just came out naturally. And then I just don't oh, know. Oh, that's so good. Wait, hold on. Let's look at the trailer real the quick. The Whiteness Project is a multimedia documentary described as an investigation of how Americans identify with being white. 21 Caucasians from Buffalo, New York, talk very candidly about their race. The result is provocative and sometimes just a little uncomfortable. What does your whiteness mean to you? Uh, you know, what does it mean to be white in our country? There's probably a little guilt there. There's been things that white people or our race has done that maybe we're not proud of. It's my honest opinion that today the white race is the one that's discriminated against. There should be more white people speaking up and talking. Motherfucker, about you're Italian, bro. You I can't. thought he was about to say there should be more white people. <laughs> there should be I mean, more. Yeah. I mean, that's, he is probably going to say that. There should be more white people speaking yeah. up and talking about white people. I liked him. The Whiteness Project was just released online. Whitney Dow is the director and producer. Good morning to you, Whitney Dow. Good morning. So I got this yesterday. I intended to watch two, maybe three. I ended up watching all of them because I found it so fascinating. And then I look at you, a white guy talking to white people about what it means to be white. What was your intention here? What were you looking for? <laughs> Mr. White she Man. She loved it. Mr. White, Whitney B. Dow, yeah. Yes. The, uh, um, you know, I've been, I've been making films about race for a long time, about eight years with my, I have a black producing partner, Marco mm -hmm. Williams. And I've always been struck that every time there's things that are done on race, it's kind of an oppositional construct or sort of a victim perpetrator, mm -hmm. which I always felt allowed normal white people to look at it and say, well, that's really not me. That's some racist white person doing something. And perhaps I could do something that I could have white, normal, regular white people who aren't, don't consider themselves racist, mm -hmm. look at it and process how their whiteness uh -oh. affects their lives. <laughs> mm -hmm. there, there is this too, <coughs> and you released this on, uh, online, and that stirred up some emotions. And a lot of people are white, talking about what it means to be white. But there's also African Americans talking about it. Take a look at this. Oh, I know those black people on this. For some reason, some black people kind of hold on to There's the uh, back in the day. He's Italian. That's <laughs> right. Did you get your race card? <laughs> Did you get That's... your race card? They should play the race card and then just yeah. play that. Well, you know, a lot of black people just need to shut the fuck up. They just you know? Well, I mean, he's, he's <laughs> getting there. Just wait. I mean, my man, my man looks like he's, he's going to get there. Hold yeah. up. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, the slave thing, or they kind of they hold on to the slave being thing. Treated. Like, have you guys not seen the LL Cool J Brad yeah. Paisley song? I don't understand. Oh. <laughs> More black people need to listen to that. <laughs> right? Should slavery be something that, because it happened, we owe black people something more? Absolutely not. <laughs> I know the point you were making that cool. was interesting to me is that most white people don't believe that there's a race problem and they don't think that being well, the entitlement and like the fact that you can feel like you can just say that out loud on fucking camera is the exact same energy of the January 6th like insurrectionists fucking filming themselves like oh I'm breaking into Nancy Pelosi's room like yeah. it's the same shit he's just like yeah I can say this well, that, why the fuck not that was the point to like bring people in. I, I, and, oh, good, good. Somebody get somebody. Oh, got the full oh my God. God. Oh, they're short and sweet. That's how I'm trying. Bro, there's a bunch of them. Like, oh, this is so good. Yo, your chat is like on it. They just found that shit Dude, fast I, as I, shit. I, I, did, that's what I was I just about to tell you that they might be on YouTube like in a little 30 second no, thing. If, it, if it's out there, they'll amazing. find it. If it's out there, they'll find it. I need a fucking chat. I need that. Cause that yeah. that's that's like that can be my brain. I can just be yeah. like, man, where's that thing at? Somebody no, that's literally that's shit. why I was making fun of him. He said, I'm lazy. All streamers, we do that. We yeah. always rely on our chat to give us information. It's the hey, greatest it's, it's the greatest thing because it's, it's like you have good. thirty thousand broken brains just like mine, just like fucking operating in unison. It's like a high mind. It's awesome. Dude, fuck yeah. Yeah, I really realize. like that line though. I need me a chat. Yeah. For real. We should be wow, Naga says, mod me, Peggy. I'll leave this community on God. This motherfucker is half the reason why I got banned for seven days. Because I went out the bat for and, and defended him aggressively. 
and and caught a fucking seven day or myself. Oh, this is and he's out here selling me out. Wow, dude. That's wild. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thanks. Nah, he's the man. Uh, okay. Yeah. All, One, these, all these shits that were online, the the um, the whiteness project. They, this um, is so good. Wait, let's let here here. Let me. Dude, there's so much more. That I, I just like I want you guys to experience it. The bl- the black white shit. Wouldn't it be yeah. some shit? And then the whiteness project. Somebody's just like, just really wish there was more white reggae. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they found they found the guy Damn. from the races was just like now. This is the first time I've ever said anything like this. <laughs> we talk about white reggae. Talk about marijuana a lot, you know, <laughs> and it's degenerate. <laughs> because I was too light and then I had to fight the whites because I was too dark so I had racism from both sides being white felt different wow. very different yeah. I was raised in a very liberal black woman? and my folks were involved oh, with the civil no. rights movement. I was like man they so really look white no no who had suffered no unfortunately I, I think another I might be like damn I know and why they gave him that Emmy I'm like shit what it's like to be black no, this this like Sarah I was raised by two hard working unfortunately Renee's makeup was not that great I'm gonna be honest I yeah I ain't gonna I, you said it looked great before but I was like I don't know you as an adult should know that you just don't I thought hers was better than fucking half of hers Know that. I really didn't know what to All expect, the white but kind of I didn't know it was gonna be movies. that intense. Dude, there are so many incredible moments, like going to the slavery museum and blackface. Like, there's Jesus just so Christ, much. Dude. There's so much. Every part of this is content. Okay, it's one of my favorite shows I've ever reacted to. Uh, but there, there, I gotta show you Bruno rapping. It, it, like, I have to. I just have to show you that one. Oh, is that the black? The racist show? white dude. Me, the racist dad. I mean, I like it, but it's not something I would wear. Hey, yep. Yo. Yup. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got the fucking... Is this that is Bruno? It. This is it. This is yep, that's Bruno. That's inside of your two Brunos. This is a it, white bro. Bruno and a black Bruno. This is it. Oh, no. Oh, this, this, this oh, is I nothing. Thought... That, that part is nothing. That's just like, you know, straight Nancy Pelosi drip, you know? She's just... Like it. I would love to sit here and say that everything was just great, but it wasn't. Oh, you have lost your damn mind. You can't act black. I'm kind of waiting for somebody to go, hey, nigger. You know, but is that going to happen? But... Oh, he, he says it so much, dude. Oh. He just straight up. He says it a lot, dude. He is very racist. He said he's white. Well, somebody to do that. that word to him, because he's white, so he thinks like you know, racism is when someone sees you as a black man and then just says the n word randomly. And oh wow, yeah, he he did. He came up with like many different reasons uh, to say it. Like he came up with like you know, like dynamite. I got angry sometimes at being misunderstood. I don't want to have to choose my words. You want to sit on the little lily white pedestal and say shit is not happening in the world and that's bullshit. Bruno, don't piss me off. What happened is that the white Bruno lady? and myself yeah. was really challenging. You have these judgments that I think you have no right to have. I knew we had differences going into the project. I didn't know how great those differences were. What are you going to do about it? I don't know how we're going to make it. We did something no one else has ever done. I don't like being made up. And none of us will be the same again. <laughs> Bro, the, the beat. Please don't believe the hype. Everything in the world ain't black and white. Everybody ain't a stereotype. Just because I look wrong, I'm about to do right. Black is midnight or bright as snow black white. Is you midnight. better do right or I'ma have to take flight. Put you on nice. Blast on your It does, it does bump. You it's a good song. Come out them stripes. I think the black dad Please and the don't son believe the hype. Look the most believable. Everything in the world ain't black and yeah. white. <laughs> like they're just riding around bumping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a cool car. Good morning. My name is Bruno, and during this project, I'm going to be. Oh, he parked that handicap spot with my family. <laughs> my name is Rose. I'm 17 years old, and I'm a white girl. It's just so exciting to be a part of this project. I don't know what to expect. I'll pick up some other affectations and characteristics, and maybe end up walking a little differently. My name is Carmen, and I'm going to become black. I'm getting spray painted. <laughs> I'm turning black gradually. I'm Brian. 
I'm 40, and I'm going to become a white man. Still amazed at all those colors make me white. I see brown. Like the only blues, people that were into it, red. basically, is, is the dad. Both dads were like really into it. And then Brian, the black dad, is no longer into it after like the first episode. But the he doesn't like being white. Like a white guy. Well, I'm... it's not that he doesn't like being white. It's that he hates having to like constantly explain to Bruno like how racism works. Because oh. Bruno, it, of course, knows more than than Brian does. Obviously, he knows everything about racism. Nick, and I'm 16, and I'm going to be transformed into a white dude. <laughs> no, Br Bruno my is a is Renee, a demon. And by like, changing the color up. of my skin, I will be able to see what it's like to be white. I've never experienced what it's like to be treated black. I don't know what that means or entails. The transformation is definitely underway. Are these people now? I get to learn just how it feels to go out in the world oh, she, looking uh, black. For some black reason, it's looking pretty good. Like, all right. <laughs> yeah, I think the I think the daughter doesn't. Uh, the the daughter does kind of look like. That's the that's the daughter, right? Now. Yeah, like, yeah. She looks low. I look up in the mirror. Yeah, yeah. She, like, she looks like, like I don't know. She should be like Ethiopian or something. Uh, being a former basketball player, I always thought how nice it would be to able to jump, get off the ground, leap, and slam dunk like these guys can. But Bruno no does not look believable. Uh, <laughs> he to slam dunk like you know, these guys can. Uh, hands down. <laughs> Faster, they leap higher. They're just awesome, awesome athletes. They're just awesome. That's it. We're done. We're oh, finished. Yes, I do like a white guy. Told him, man. Told him. Yeah, I think I'll break out the sticks, play a little golf. Awesome, dude. Awesome. <laughs> you know, I've been trying to imagine what it's gonna look like to see Renee and Nick for the first time white. <laughs> <laughs> You look pretty wow. good. I'm about to say he looks like an act. He looks yeah. good. Yeah. You I wouldn't look like, like him twice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, I look this white. Yeah. Typical white, yeah. white like cop detective. I can't. Like she I think Renee looks white. Look white. Yeah. No, she, she looks, looks like a black is. person with yeah. white makeup. No, <laughs> this is like a Dave Chappelle <laughs> bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, thanks. I don't think any other white person is gonna look at her and be like, they're gonna be like, you know. You can't take this the wrong way because remember we're in makeup, but I mean, she doesn't look anything like. A guy that I would be attracted to. Come on, white girl. Come on, white girl. I don't want to. Come on, white girl. Come Just a pack. You'd be scared. This is this is sus too, because then it's like, wait a minute, you like this a little too much. Yeah, I was thinking, bro. I was yeah, like, you like this a little like too much, Brian. <laughs> Brian, you're you're out here looking like Ned Flanders. Oh, meanwhile, oh my girl. <laughs> meanwhile, you're oh my girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah, I don't like that. <laughs> that was weird. The first time you kissed me. I know. I know. <laughs> Oh my god, that is so strange. She's really into it. Oh my god. No, Bruno. just wait. <laughs> they got it's like nice. sexy music yeah, on I, too. I love black. I mean, visually and somehow heart wise, there's a warmth. I need to run that back. What? What's up with that? What'd she say? She's, she, you heard her? She said, I love black, like visually in the heart. <laughs> warmth. Um. Oh. oh she hey, said, yo. I, yo. I love black. Dog. Dog. She said, I love black, you know, visually, like in the heart. Like warmth, motherfucker! You clean that up and made it worse. Oh, they're gonna have a fucking whole ass divorce after this. Shit. Oh, they like, did. They did. They did. They got. And I wonder why. Yeah, they they definitely. They... She was like, oh fuck this shit, man! I can just go get the real thing. It's nice. Yeah, I, I love black. I mean, visually and somehow heart wise, there's a warmth. Beautiful. Thank you. Yo, look at them. Look at them. Nice. They're really into it, bro. <laughs> did you? <laughs> look at them. Look at them. <laughs> Oh, God, it's just really beautiful. Oh my God, what the fuck is going on? It's beautiful. Oh. Okay, so when do we get to see Nick? Because now I'm really curious <laughs> now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this <What>? motherfucker. <laughs> this is pretty good. This is yeah, like this too is good. good. This is too good. Yeah. 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 This is way too good. Yeah. They need to fuck, just, they need to like. I think the only thing that's off putting oh about God. it is like lip color that uh, they, they, they gave you. Yeah. If they, they give them like a different tan lip. Well, I mean, just remember, it's like fucking 14p, so because yeah. it's like that's old. True. 
It's, it just looks like it's the color of the concealer, but if it's uh, if they did like a little pink to it, it would look really good. Dude, it's just. What's that? You can do it. Mustache. Yeah, it's just fucking. Look at your teeth. They have a daughter. They got no, a daughter. No, here. No, not yeah. them. They don't have a daughter. Why was she scared? <laughs> Yo, why was she scared? She said... <laughs> Chill. Chill. What the fuck? Chill, Black Bruno. Hey, uh, yo! <laughs> it's like... Uh, yo, this is ridiculous, dude. Oh, this is the best show dude, ever. Thank you so much for reminding me this exists. Yeah, this is the best show ever. Like, an amazing job. You totally look like a little black girl. Beautiful job. Do I look like me? No. No? Would you recognize me? No. On the street? No. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Hi, Rose. Hey. You look great. Let me see your hair. It's beautiful. Oh, they got a chaperone? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. We look like twins. Oh, yeah. They have, they have like, you like know, real black people. Dick. It was the... It's really game weird game. how... Will this She kind of looks like... I'm very normal. confident. I can a little bit to me. Yeah. I can't really yeah. tell. No, no. She... Hers, You'll see. Might be the best. Hers is I'm hers is probably the best, guy. but also like her hers is hers is probably the best Emmy Award winning blackface. Let's be real. Yeah. yeah. But also, <laughs> like the shit she gets into as a consequence of that is like really fucked up. That's a predominantly white sport. I wanted to see how it would get treated. I feel like this is reverse. Right yeah, now. a pack of tea. What's the play golf? <laughs> good deal, good deal. Okay, well said. Thank, Thank you very you. much, sir. Cultural appropriation. This is cultural appropriation. Yeah. Oh, terrible. I talk to people that I wouldn't normally talk to. All right, you got a pretty good stroke going there, so I come over to see what you're doing here, so I can try to straighten my game like that. There you go. You know, we. Oh my God, before. dude, he's really into it. Remember, I told you, like, oh, yeah. he is straight up he's into going. this. He's like, oh, this is great, great stroke there. Right, my swing right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, see what you're doing. See what kind of clubs you I'm have. Get these custom made at some little shop down the road. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. If I could be white one day, I'd definitely try some random shit. Oh, if I was one of you, get a load. Appreciate your time. Your name? John Brian White. Brian White. They put the motherfuckers. My first in the South. time as a black girl, I went to South Central. Going undercover in the black world is amazing. People were talking to me like, oh. my sister. <laughs> See, Lee was trying to holler. <laughs> what? Holler means he's trying to go out with you. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. He was she got like, the black it. Sherpa, dude. <laughs> Guiding her through the experience. <laughs> She said he's trying to holler. She said what? <laughs> like how do you not know what that means? It's 2006. You like digging the way you look. You know. Look at you trying to get a boyfriend. <laughs> when I'm in black makeup, I wasn't like scared. If anything, I was just like, I look black. People regarded me as a black girl. It was selling. I needed a pair of shoes, so I went shopping. I feel like they, they didn't they as a white guy they, I'm relaxed they when I'm shopping. Get off of I put on my white what makeup and I'm no, I think it's after. I like these two here. Uh, I kind of like that one better. What size do you wear? Uh, 11. Look at that. And then the most amazing thing happened. The guy actually took my foot and put it in the shoe and put a shoehorn in the back to make sure my foot slide in. That smells good. It's just amazing. Got good customer good. service. I'm done. <laughs> I've never in my life had someone, you know, they come out and give me my shoe, but I've never had anyone actually unlace it, open it, shoehorn the back, and slide my foot into the shoe. Is this what the white guys get? This is all the benefits they get? It's never it's happened to me black in that. 40 years. <laughs> the first time I go and buy shoes is white. Shoes on for I you have it done. You're white. I was like, wow, the possibilities <laughs> are endless. He said the possibilities are endless. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get the well, shoe the treatment, it's over. My family's going to be living with the white family. I'll have the opportunity like to discuss like the experiences just, that I have with the family that I'm living with. <laughs> right, he does this Actual sound. black people. He becomes My positive. expectations of living with a white family, uh, I, I was just hoping going in that they were nice. 
Um, that they were clean. So they haven't pretty seen much each other open minded. Just like, okay, let's just see what. No, they're about to. So they're gonna oh see my each other god, guys! Oh, oh my god, this is it. We're meeting them. Oh. Um, <laughs> no, I think they're. I think they're coming in. I have in no idea what it's gonna be like to live with a black family. I have the sense that I'm heading into something <laughs> difficult <laughs> and profound. I think everybody was trying to size each other up when we walked in the door. You know, see how their reaction was when they saw us. Were they pleased or displeased or scared? Hi. How are you doing? Good. Very good. Thank you. When we first met, it was kind of intense. And a basketball. And a basketball. We saw That's all new for everyone. The nerves of not knowing what to expect. Moving into a house with a family we didn't know. In a home we weren't familiar with. I like to come. But I'm getting ready to cook, but the kitchen's clean. Yeah. The dishes. Yeah. Renee seems very strong-minded, very clear about what oh. she thinks. Somebody uses the kitchen when they're done, they walk out, it should be just like Oh, yeah. Oh, Bruno, he seemed like he was a pretty grounded guy. I thought, you know, yeah, I, I would hang out with Bruno. No, you How wouldn't. You guys, uh, when you first saw each other, what'd you think? That was intense. Oh, yeah. Was it? When I walk in. And he's this beautiful, warm, black man. <laughs> so in love with him. <laughs> ding, ding. Well, when I first met Carmen, I thought, she's weird. <laughs> she seemed kind of emotional. No, her name's the best. He was very introspective. He was uh, the quiet one of the bunch. <laughs> Lock on the door. We don't want the black people stealing anything. <laughs> Oh. Her mom and Bruno don't exactly spend a lot of time with black people, so I think I'm a little nervous that they might say the wrong thing. Okay. First thing we had to do started. was teach each other how to pass as the members of the other race. We're going to help each other walk the walk and talk the talk. All right, so we got to help you all with well, pass black. Yeah. Well, I was figuring I would walk in and just basically high five everybody. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> Mm. No, I, I keep thinking there's a something in the walk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't you think there's just some kind of let's say mm -hmm. man, the walk? You know? you know, I was thinking kind of how about a white oh, guy no. sort of more straight, mm -hmm. whereas a black is sort of like just a just little, lower, just a little bit of roll. That's not really bad. It's just sort of not really bad. Roll, you, know, you know, kind of. And you know the biggest thing if somebody come up to you is hand. Keep it in the middle because we don't want none of this touching. Okay, we don't touch. Just come in. <laughs> Okay, a closed thing or just it's closed, just, it can be open. You know, white guys come and hug like oh, this, honey. like this, straight up and down, nothing to block. All men do that. All men do. Oh that. my god. <laughs> yeah. Do we really want to be like saying, okay, so that's what most black people do, therefore I should do it to blend in? Because I know that like all of us are trying to learn about the other race, but it's so much in the, like the language of stereotype. Mm. I don't know yet if I'm gonna feel comfortable putting on an act. I'm comfortable being me. I, like I don't want to just white, be sending the, out the bullshit. White girl is it's all about pulling, like, pulling it out. Of I say what's up. <laughs> no, no, she's, she's like, 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 like they do. Would walk. that take you a little bit of back? <laughs> no, no, I, yeah. yeah. She's so like, there is a difference between a black and white. Yeah, because I've seen white women just come up to me and just like, what she want? Why is she bothering me? Why is she asking me all these damn questions? You know, some black people be like, damn, why you want to know all that? Why are you all in my business? I think I asked too many questions. No, 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 no. I mean, just, just don't go in there. Friendly, highly ho neighbor. You know that's curious. That's as a I generally said. held belief. Hell yeah, yeah, I'm very curious. So y'all do a lot of things that <laughs> everybody don't do. I'll give you all the white things that you're doing, then you see it curious. A tornado coming by. A white person coming behind it in a truck. Now it's now, <laughs> now it's now it's a legitimate professional called storm chasing. I'm not chasing the storm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're laughing because you know it's true. <laughs> That's <laughs> white. I ain't gonna lie. Is it in the sense that blacks generally look down on whites? No, we don't no. look down on you. No. It's just your nature <laughs> is to be more curious than ours. Your nature is to, if you hear a noise, to find out what the noise is. That. We hear a noise, we want to, we're getting, we're getting away from the noise, and we're worried about the, what the noise well, is. Well, well, yeah. Yeah. Why, those, yeah. If those differences tr are, are true, and certainly right here they're playing out. Wow, this is all really interesting. I am never around, or very rarely around, black people. Really? Yeah, and to have Can't this kind of help. <laughs> Were we supposed to coach you all? Or ask, she doesn't have to do that because I know how to adapt and get along with white people because that's something that I learned to do because white people are the ones I had to deal with when I had to interview for a job or anything. You know, I know how to communicate with them to get what I want. We interact with whites daily. Black culture has to conform to white society to make it. Yeah, it's gonna be fun.
gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. We are in for something. We are in for something. They're gonna kill <laughs> the the girl is like all right, like she's not terrible, you know what I mean? Yeah. What did they do? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you can learn a lot by living with another. Did they slavery. open the eggs and put them back in the car yeah. and then put so it back in the fridge? Yeah. yeah. I don't so know far, why. I've really enjoyed meeting the Sparkses. I've learned a lot. There's like a whole world, a whole community. Honestly, it's a bit weird, but I guess you're going to end up going the Like a anyway. secret society with shared experiences and language and customs. Yeah, but it is weird. Why would you just put it back there? I agree. What does this motherfucker do? He's, 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 like, he thinks that's how black people walk. With their head shaking? Like, he's just like, <laughs> yeah, bro. No. <laughs> he's just, he just thinks, like, you know, black people have swagger, right? That's. On our first day out, we had a discussion with a moderator Yell about more. race to help Yell prepare more. us for focus groups. Oh, okay. The goal of the meeting oh, is now is to talk about the idea of racism and how do we recognize in other people what they are seeing in us when we are in different the race states. relations. It'll, it'll be interesting. Who the fuck is this guy? And I'm sure it'll happen where I'll be in, in black and I'll get some attitude from some prick white guy. And I won't have all the history of resentment mm -hmm. right. that a black man has. And I'll be able to f with him. Oh, just, yeah. you know, uh, mentally spar with him and go, like, you know, says, hey, nigga. You know, I won't get angry. <laughs> I'll just kind of smile at myself. And That's the moment, bro. You see in his eyes the moment where Brian's like, oh, shit. This he, is like. He, he looked at him like. He, no, that's when he's like, oh, wait a minute. This is not. You know, just get golfing shoes. <laughs> Fun yeah. time. This is gonna be way worse, dude. Right. That a black man has, and I'll be able to f with him. Oh, just yeah. you know, uh, mentally spar with him and go. Like, you know, he why? says, "Hey, nigga." You know, I won't <laughs> look at get his angry. Face. I'll just kind of <laughs> smile to myself and Yo, go. Look at the dog. By the way, the beautiful part about it is that they're they're uh, bleeping the f word, but not the straight n word with a hard r. <laughs> like, that's that's wild. Okay. Unbelievable. Why'd you say that? When I hear the N-word, my jaws clench up. It, it resonates with Renee me, and I know it's like just a either. word. Oh, no. But, you know, what I had to go through <laughs> growing up, uh, that word still gets me. It's powerful. You know, no one's gonna just straight, strictly come up, you know, and say, hey, nigger, or anything like that. Right. Because that kind of racism is really not there today. But now it's more, we won't get the positions that we're qualified for, or we won't get the service that everybody else get. But I honestly, I think that Rose, and Carmen and, and Bruno is going to get a lot more out of this than we will because of the fact that white don't have... By the way, notice how he's like, you know, I can mentally spar with a racist white guy because I don't have the resentment. You, on the other hand, a black man, you can't do that. But only because of the racial resentment and animosity that you have towards the white person. Oh, like, man, he is, he's just straight... I definitely, I definitely see why he's white. Uh, oh, yeah. Person. I have to go through the day-to-day -day small things that you never think about. Like, if I go into the mall as a black man, I'm going to be looked at. Right. Or follow. Or follow. Really? What if we're at a gathering, all of us are having dinner together, and there are pretty much equal blacks and whites, and then the no. whites leave, and you all start no. driving? No. Driving? <laughs> See, that's white. That's very white. Is it really? No, get down, mama. That's that pass the grizzly chicken. That's a job. <laughs> What the fuck does that mean? All, all the white people and I are going to be black driving? people in a focus group of all black people. It'll be a panel what? of black people talking about driving, like, race celebrating? and racism. Bro, that's like a 70s yeah, that's totally slang word. Is, it, is this slang word for shucking and jiving? Like, like it's, a, it's like a racist term to say that like things that black people do. It used to be oh. slang in like the seventies to just. But it's like also it. like jive turkey too, right? Isn't yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. It's yeah. like old slang. What's jive turkey? It's it, like you full of shit, dude. You love uh, jive turkey. You full of shit, dude. It's just like that's how they before the internet. That's how people talk. Gosh, gotcha. yeah. <laughs> some people spoke. It's hey not, there, yeah. Jack. And shit like that. But like a white person saying that is just like weird as fuck. Yeah, definitely. I don't know where she pulled that word from. It's a black jazz musician slang. Oh yeah. It yeah. wasn't just it wasn't just jazz music. It's just like it's, it's people in general use it after a while. It oh. probably started that. Yeah. Way. And that no one will be aware of the fact that I'm a honky. 
Oh no! Twitch, don't ban me. I'm sorry. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Black Bruno said it. Or white Bruno. I don't know which Bruno said it. But... Bruno? I'm a Bruno, why? Twitch be like, N word with a hard heart? Fine. But wait a minute. The H word? Honky. Uh, they haven't they haven't banned anybody for honky yet, but who knows? I don't want to fucking Didn't before I, don't want to test it out. I came in as the last oh. participant to this all black panel. H for with a I felt nervous. Mind. Like, are they going to accept that I'm black? And it was scary. It was great. I knew that Brian was behind the two-way mirror, and he had given me some advice on how to be black. He told me to sort of just kick back, um, don't have great posture lean to one side and sort of slouch in the chair. Don't have to. I was mindful of <laughs> said he got not that from being him. overly shocked. I don't think, he got, I don't think he got that from him. Yeah, what that's what I'm saying. There's no shock. Today, as the biggest difference between being black and white in America. I mean, when I think of white people, I think uh, ethnocentric. Very much like my way of saying things is the best, most correct way. And anything that's different than that, you know, I don't want to get to know. It's assimilation. You know, it's kind of like as long as we assimilate and do what they do, we're okay. But if we're kind of like off on the side doing our own little thing, you might be a little bit intimidating. It seems like that's just the way it is. This world is dominated by... There are two posters among us. White people, and <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's any way that we'll ever be considered <laughs> equal. Because they just talk at you anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm a grown man, you be having them talk. Hey, get over there, hey, get this, pick that up. Hey, You know he's sitting there like, when can I say the N-word? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I cannot that, wait. <laughs> they both they both look like they don't want to be there. Well, no, he looks like he's just ready no, to he say loves, Yeah, he just loves that. She, she looks like she's just like, oh, oh God. fuck, this is fucked up. He's like, oh, this is great. I cannot wait. He's got it loaded in the chamber, bro. It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> he's ready to fire. Wait. He can't wait to you say it and not get like, back. Hey, I'm a man. They don't even talk to the kids like that. There's a world there that I got to have an eye opening view of. It was pretty amazing. Um, and very enlightening to experience just a taste of what it's like for the black world. You know, there's a lot of controversy about the N-word and who can use it or whether it should be used at all. Who has experienced an intentional attempt to disrespect you by using that term? That's what I'm trying to get at. Oh, yeah. Have you had experiences like that? Yeah, I used to work as a doorman at a disco, you know, and if somebody came up intoxicated or didn't have the right dress on, you know, they'd say, come on, nigga, you know. <gasps> Or, you know, a lot more hostile than that. And I just, you know, mm hmm yeah, that's right, I'm a nigga. You know, it just wouldn't affect me. And that would be the end of the conflict, just like that. <laughs> Look at this guy's face! Look at his face! Yeah, because he said, he said, yeah, that's okay, that's right, I'm a nigga, whatever. He has experienced an intentional he made a attempt whole story to up disrespect so you. So he could say it again. Dude, I've said this before. Listen, listen. I, I don't know. Look, fucking crazy. I'm a doorman at I know disco. you're sensitive towards anti-white racism, so I respect your... What? Your... your uh, your opinion here, but like, white people get so creative when it comes to racism. It just like pops off, dude. Yeah, he just on the spot came up with a story where, like, he came up with a story on the spot of like him being victim to a racist attack, which he just like brushed off so easily. He's like, yeah, whatever, man. That doesn't bother me. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. <laughs> What grown ass black man? That's what I'm trying to get at. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have you had experiences like that? Yeah, I used to work as a doorman at a disco, you know, and if somebody came up yeah, intoxicated or didn't have the right dress Wait, on, disco? you know, they say, come on. I man. gotta grab you know, or, you know, a lot more hostile than that. And I just, you know, mm -hmm, yeah, that's right, I'm a nigga. You know, it just wouldn't affect me. And that would be the end of the conflict, just like that. Because I wouldn't give it the power. The only reason why people call you derogatory names is so that they can inflame you. You didn't give it power. You don't that was power. The people that call you the N word by works. getting upset. You win. And the idiot that just called you that doesn't have any power. My main thing is. You just the to... thing. It wasn't a fabrication. Bruno was the one who said it to the yeah. black doorman. Yeah, no. I, I, that's so crazy. Someone said, I'm about to say, he did this shit to someone else. And he's yeah. telling him he's reversing the story. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, Jesus bro. Christ, dude. He said someone's going to be the fly on the wall the and see how whites act when blacks are nowhere around. I'll be able to, you know, actually hear what they say when I'm not in the room. But I'll actually be in the room. She's walking like a white woman. 
My name is Brian. I enjoy uh, building computers, uh, things like that. I like fixing things with my hand. My name is Renee, and my hobbies, whoa. <laughs> Swimming, tennis, shopping. How prevalent is racism still in today's society? Uh, you know, I want to think that everybody is treated equally, and you know what? They're not. Um, I had an experience where I was managing a girl who was black, and she had the worst attitude I have ever seen. I wanted to fight her so bad. It had nothing to do with the color of her complexion. Bro. Whatever I would have to document to fire her. Bro, I, I thought she was gonna be like, yeah, you know, black people really do have it bad. She's like, no. I thought she was gonna she be She flipped it, dude. <laughs> She started telling a story from her work. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking flipped it. Oh, that's so yeah, good. Longer list the way she sure started the story was very different. Sued. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday, there's a black guy behind the counter, and uh, my yeah, friend tipped him and said, put a tip uh, in the jar and said, thank you, brother. Get and I said, watch how you say that. Uh, Only black people yeah, can call it. themselves brother or even the N word. I don't look at a black person and say, I do harm, but sometimes there's these innate things that I think have been taught that, you know, I shake someone's hand, Blue or orange. it's black, and my instinct is to wipe it or something. I am very conscious of it afterwards, and I feel horrible about it, and it takes work to switch that around. When he said that, I was like, wow. Um, you want the guy some? just shaking oh, okay. when he was telling you sure? us that. Yeah, you could sure. tell that that really bothered him. I knew that racism was there, and I thought I was prepared for everything. But when I actually donned the white makeup, I was shocked. Sorry, what did he say? He said, when I shake a black person's hand, there's just this innate feeling to just wipe my hand afterwards, mm -hmm. or something like that. And he said he thinks it's taught, and girl, I don't fucking know. These people are just... I think he, like... <laughs> I, I like, think he like if I remember correctly, like he recognizes that that's racist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's he's what like he's, he's just like, like trying to shake his social conditioning, kind of. It's yeah. weird. It's so he's, fucking... he's he's being honest, but it's just like you know. Yeah. I don't even understand what this panel is. Like it's just a panel of people talking in a one in one random room. It's just the redditors getting together. Just it's just like real life. Reddit. The white plight, dude. <laughs> Hassan is on stream torturing two brothers, making them watch this shit. Law? Are you kidding me? They love it. What the fuck are you talking about? This is this is true entertainment, this bro. You, how fucked up that this man does not recognize that Ice Cube ended racism in America. Done with this show. Finito. Yeah. It's over. <laughs> oh man. When he said that, I was like, wow. Um, the guy just shaking when he was telling us that. You could tell that that really bothered him. I knew that racism was there, and I thought I was prepared for everything. But when I actually donned the white makeup, I was shocked. Those focus groups were really eye-opening. I look forward to having someone say, hey, nigga. You know, you're a son of a bitch. I hate you, nigga. And expect me to get all freaked out about it. And I just look Bro. at him and go, gee, why, why, why did you call me that? <laughs> and What's that would be about? the end of it. No, 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 this guy's like, actually Weird. like, uh, what the fuck is he even talking about? Bro, he literally think, Bro, what, what is he, he talking okay, about? Okay, welcome, first of all, welcome to white people. This dude is just like, This dude is just, he's a liberal too. Like, that dude straight up thinks that racism starts and ends with someone calling him, like thinking he's a black man and calling him the N word. Yeah, no, but before he, he was like, I, that's, I expected that to happen and all these things were supposed to go and happen. It's been one day and you've been in a room around other black people. What the fuck is he on? Yeah, and he's going to be chasing that high <laughs> because like, he's... white people love to be oppressed, okay? This is a fucking fantasy for him in the sense that like he gets to be he gets to be oppressed as a black man, but also simultaneously, he's like, you know, uh, he's also simultaneously gonna be like, oh, well, it's not a big deal because like, it's not gonna give, I'm not gonna give it power. And it, it's only impactful if you give it power. The ultimate goal, the ultimate point that he's making is straight up that like the N word has no power. Uh, and it's only like the black people who won't give up 
uh, you know, thinking about uh, slavery and the, and the, and you know, caring about the N word. Yeah. <clears throat> sure. Yeah. Like that's the that's the thing is like racism solved. Don't be offended. It's like a lot of people just straight up think mm -hmm. because they have no way of comprehending what systemic racism is like. And they've never really thought about it from an empathetic point of view, or more importantly than that, never been in a diverse environment where they've mm -hmm. like actually been around black people as peers, as equals, as yeah. friends. You know what I mean? That like they've never had that conversation with a black person, or rather, yeah. they've only had that conversation with like a single black person in a, in a dominated white space. Mm -hmm. So that black person is already most likely conforming to that white space in an effort to be accepted by everyone else. So they straight up think racism is just a personal slight against them. Mm -hmm. Like an individual tiny thing, like someone being a meanie bobini. That's what racism is. Yeah. Because yeah. you've never experienced it. So you just have no fucking idea. You're just completely disconnected from that reality. Mm -hmm. So you just think, oh man, racism is just about people being mean to you and, uh, and, and people being big bullies. And if you don't let them be big bullies, then, you know, no racism. Yeah. In the focus group, it was interesting that out of the whole group, yeah. Bruno and used the word yeah. nigger. With the ER? Yeah. They were the first one <laughs> to like, say. They like that word. They like it for some they reason. Like Can you keep first explaining word. racism to these two people? No, I'm, I'm giving the only fucking mm -hmm. uh, part that I can explain, which is like the fucking, you know, white perspective. Why? Like when Not you're like white explaining racism. It's okay for you to say the word then, but when you're white, just. I think that most white people, not all, would love to say nigga in the presence of black and, and not have any repercussion. Uh, son, you think I don't know what racism is, motherfucker? Bro, this is like this is what they're this is what they're waiting for. So you can like say some shit like that so they can clip it and be like, oh my god. <laughs> right well, back son, up to the top of R slash all the stream. Dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Now that we've got the basic knowing where we are and who the sparks are, probably, um, I feel I can totally focus probably on watching. the black perspective on issues of race. <laughs> Very curious to see if I am reacted to differently as black Bruno than I am as white Bruno. I'm in this project to see if black people are just the same as white people. By becoming a black girl, I want to see if I can identify with other black kids and learn about their culture. Today, I'm going out to look for a job as a white Brian in an all-white community. I would like to see it. It will be easier for me as a white man to get a job because I'm white. But when they see me, they'll see likeness. It'll be easier for me to fit in. Hey, you must be Brian. Brian. You're here for an interview. I sure am. All right, well, let me just take you over to a, t uh, a table, and then we'll get you to fill out some stuff. Leo's Bar is an all-white neighborhood, <laughs> and I would like to be a bartender, because alcohol brings out the truth. If you're a bartender, if black was brought up in a white surrounding when the patrons are drunk, I think it's much different than sober. You don't have a job now. Um, you haven't had a criminal record. We need to do a background check on you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just, you know, thrilled. Just kidding, you're white. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I feel like, yes. was that just swept or felt scripted? Uh, yeah, that, was, like, that felt yeah, like bro. very much like, yeah. do we need a background check on you? It's just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. She ain't going to Hollywood. You guys interviewing me. Give me the chance for this. Well, you know, once you're on, you're part of the family. Right. So, you know. Oh, okay. uh, I like that. Right. Yeah, I got the job. Hey. Thank you for this opportunity. And I promise I won't you. let you down. Oh, I know you won't. I know you won't. I know you won't. They so. told me, welcome to the family. They knew I was white when they said, welcome to the family. I'm in the Leo family. I'm in the Leo family. Hey, I'm white it. now. So I'm in there. Yeah, hi. Look at him. I got a small job. Hey, Today I went to the mall and I met yeah, Duran and Poetry, who are in charge of a slam poetry class. This part they is knew that I was up, white, bro. but I was still in black makeup. Do you know anything about that poetry shit? No! We teach poetry workshops. There's so many beautiful poems out there, but they're not performed right. We teach performance and writing skills. I, I like to write poetry, and I've never learned how to. I just, I've written it myself. If you write poetry, we're like, oh, you're in the house. I'm really excited about taking this poetry class because I want to know what it's like to be black. I want to immerse myself in the culture. Do you have any poems like, 
like in my head. Or in your head, or do you have or any down written? that you would have memorized? Only because the first class, at least, right? We're gonna have everybody like read one. something, or at least, and so it's we can see where you are. Where you are, what, what we need to work on. Wow. And it's easier if you have it memorized. I've got an assignment, and I'm downright feeling intimidated. I've never tried to do slam poetry. It's scary for me to know that I've got so much potential to fail. Anything that'll like speak about you or right. something that you can memorize. Well, right. I can always do one tonight and just work on it. It'll have to be memorized. Yeah. Okay. And written. Okay. Is she just why is she not doing memorized? slam poetry? Because that's what black people do. Today I went to several car dealerships to see if I'm yeah, I mean, any different. Like, greatly pushed. Gotcha. You into things. I've spoken to black friends. Well, they'll say that you don't know. I mean, Bruno group. steals the show with like how horrible of a monster he is. Okay. Like, yeah, Bruno, you'll, you'll oh, no, see. He already has. Bruno definitely played his part well. No, he, he's like he's great. <laughs> like in the worst way possible. Just to be the black man who's looked at with suspicion. Somebody looks at me and they have hatred because I'm black. That will be soul shaking. Let me get the case for you. Okay, thank you. Appreciate your time. What do we do, honestly, what do we do to our air business today? It's kind of interesting. I was on a lot no more than 20, 30 seconds before somebody would notice me and come right over to me. What if you don't have such good credit? When I tell them that I have lousy credit, they tell me that I'm gonna have to put more money down. I think that's rather standard. It didn't seem to me that anyone was uh, keying in on my blackness. In general, I got excellent service, and I'm finding that I'm treated exactly the same, whether I'm black or whether I'm white. Case closed. Case closed. Right. You guys? Now you're you beginning to recognize so how, how Bruno is going to operate throughout the entire nice. show. Yeah. How long is it? How long, He's how like long, six an, episodes. Anecdotal, I wasn't treated with, uh, yeah. I wasn't called the hard R N word at the fucking car salesman but I've, but I've said it like it's four times. times. Dude. I've yeah. said it like four times in the first episode. <laughs> <It's> episode <laughs> one. Like, no, he fired that, off as, so as many a black man. Uh, you know, I buy my shoes. They just hand me the shoe and say, here, try it on. But my first day as a white guy, I go and buy some shoes. They take my foot and put it in the shoe. But I bought golf shoes out of a golf pro shop before. Didn't happen. So, I mean, I, I'm not saying that it always happens, but it was just my first. <laughs> I was going to say, he just looks like a leathery Florida man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he, he looks like he looks like Patrick Starr tanned in the like yeah. like he, he just stayed out too long in the sun. <laughs> Time and I was like, wow. At the car dealership, Mr. Krabs, as a black is, man, what I experienced is I'm getting the reaction from people that I usually get as white Bruno, and that's telling me a lot. From what I hear from you, I don't feel that you're getting the experiences that I go through on a daily. Bruno's been white all his life until these last few days. So he, he doesn't know what to look for or what to expect. If you're not used to it in your daily life, then you're not yeah, going to look for anything absolutely. new just because you have all black makeup. I just think the little things that you never think about is always on our mind as black men. What, what I totally believe is it's the individual, regardless of whether he's white or black. I'm going to come as Bruno as a black man, OK? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show everybody courtesy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to deal with life the way Bruno does, and I'm going to appear black. My theory is, it starts with you know, personal responsibility. You get out of life what you Something that, of course, you know, he's saying black people lack is the, the individual personal responsibility. That's the reason why you know, racism always comes down Racism always comes down to like, you know, how the recipient is receiving the racism. Get put into it. I come from a place of not expecting to be assaulted by racism. And maybe that's a huge difference. They are so aware of the fact that they are black and that they are separate and they are different. Well, you said... I think the funniest part about this is that like, Bruno straight up is under the expectation that people are going to treat him I think the way he treats black people, which is in like a really fucked up way. Yeah, probably. So he's just like, I don't understand why they're not saying the N word. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, you guys are going to get a lot more out of this. I do that all the time to black because, people. You know, you're going to be black right. and I'm going to be white. Right. Okay. Well, you said it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, so far, I'm kind of waiting for somebody to go, hey, nigger. You know, but, 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 it's but it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I really don't think that Bruno's getting the black experience yet. Oh, and I'm not sure if he's going to ever open his mind to it. Uh, you're saying you think you know that I started to experience something. I'm telling you, no. 
No. I'm telling you. <laughs> Someone in the chat said counter is a six. Six. six Bruno, six Bruno times. makes it his argument seem like he's been it. Doing this shit for like a year. Yeah. He's been in a room with other black Bunch people. Poetry and thing, he went to go look at a fucking car. I don't have anything memorized yet, minute. and I would have and liked to. It. He's got it's it. not it's so it. good. I, I think I needed to write a poem He's and, ready to and memorize it. Ready to I really love right. words. I do, and like to me, you can never have enough adjectives. Oh, is she working on her poem? Yeah. I want everybody to introduce themselves oh, the and tell me your favorite entertainer. Oh, my name is Latoya Hill. He's like not my super around on the show. My favorite artist is Mary Blige. My name is Sheree Busby, and my favorite entertainer is Prince. Okay, blessed. I'm an avid Michael Jackson fan. My name is Jonathan. My favorite performer is Dave Chappelle. Um, my name is Rose, and my favorite entertainer, I kind of love the Cranberries. So. The cranberry. <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Okay. Right, who's the cranberry? Like, who first the fuck impression. Is the so Robert my first impression was like, I love the cranberry. They're not gonna know the fuck what that is. Was that? Everybody's Whenever like, we do our poems, like we have to stand up. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to face this. I'm standing in the mirror, faceless. My mom is at my shoulder, telling me to escape this. There's so many far before me with war life stories of prison and death. I'll take a deep ass breath. What, what, what is this that torments my existence, that removes the joy in every single instance? Am I doing Whoa. To this Who got the idea that I was ready for this? I felt like. A lamb in face. a lion's <laughs> like, uh. I'm always down for my black people, though sometimes they be acting so evil. Unbelievable be how my patience remains. Though at times I feel an alien blood runs through these veins, and this thought sustains. The alien was me. These people rock, and they're speaking about being black from their heart of hearts. And I'm hoping to God that this <laughs> sounds black. Okay. Thank you. Many words, my life, the so simple complexities of a human psyche. To even relish in my thoughts of romantic stride. My skin to his. <sighs> my touch returned. A mutual undulation of want and reciprocal acceptability and performance. A ritual so profound. The taste of sex. The body flush with hot and sticky fantastic. A basket of unbroken fruit. A dripping bouquet of red ripe woman. Bro, they did the it so the dirty. spread lavishly over the human chemistry when discovery and pleasure were encouraged. Thank you. She talking about fucking? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, it's like, I, I was expecting a lot worse. Shitless. Yeah, I was expecting <laughs> like, something. Like, something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of big words. I have a lot of big words. I don't get, you know? And you have to know your audience and know that if you're speaking to an audience of people, that not the everybody's going to understand the definitely were what you're talking about. Damn. That was she did hard. some big ass fucking words in there. I didn't this know project that is Huge. so much more unnerving and probing than you can possibly expect it to be. So how was today for you, Rose? Yeah, I was just about to ask you. It was incredible. Some of the most beautiful, intense poetry I've heard in a long time. Everything was just from the heart. Racism, prejudice, black lifestyle came up a lot because they were talking about being black. So did you get up and say anything? I did. But here I am in front of everybody, and I'm like, I hope it at least is black enough to get through this class. Like, You know what? If I'd have got in there for the first time, I would have done it. I was like shaking my socks. Yeah, that's, that's courage. Rose has a good head on her shoulder, and I think Bruno can take a page from, from Rose's book and, and learn. So right. That is one place mm -hmm. I do not want to get found like, out. Like, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So the only way yeah, I feel OK it. being in there is if I work my ass off. They're doing something like they would really she, she definitely gets like way more uncomfortable. <laughs> the producers fucked her over because like they put her in like the worst conditions. <laughs> like they put her in like a situation where, uh, you know, like as Brian said, like, yeah. you know, people would not be comfortable in no matter what their background is. And then with the dad, they're like, eh, just go look at a fucking car. Yeah. It's just. I feel like that would be respectful of me. I don't know how I'm feeling right now because. I want to strike up friendships, and if something went wrong, like if they found out oh, that yeah. I was white, somebody's not going to feel cool about it. I don't want to go in there again and do what I did. Just don't. My dad is always talking about how whites are treated differently than black people. 
But my generation oh, now, we really don't kid. see all that. We, we just see go. people. Here we go. As long as you cool with us, then we cool with you. Oh, my goodness. Check it out. Oh, my God. Oh, amazing. I'm going to be white today, so I want to go and do something. Only white kids. The mom is sus, dude. I hate it. I hate it. Today, I'm going to edit a class. This sounds like how well she blends in with white kids. Nice to meet you, Claudia. Claudia Rose, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Rose. Hi, I'm Claudia. Nice Nick. to meet you. Nick. Etiquette, actually, it's not just rules. It's the way you behave, the way you're going to be what accepted. Basically, it teaches you know how to eat at fancy restaurants and how to greet people Etiquette and be polite. I want to see you pretend to I thought this was your weird. Soup. Like, I, I, I asked my chat. I asked him, oh, you did? Not exactly the same way, but there was a summer program where it was like, it was like, a, it was like a summer program just for like, in, like kids in general. And one of the things we did is like we, everyone had to bring a, a meal from home that like they made and everyone had to What'd like you bring? have uh, one out of one. Wait, what? One out of what the is grape it? leaf meat rolls. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we brought those and like they ha they also like so what you call it one out of. Yeah, one that's Lebanese, Lebanese, I think one out of one out of one out of we say Sarma. Uh, yeah, one out of Dolma. But then they, they like it was that and then it was also like, OK, here's proper like eating etiquette with like everyone that was there. Okay. Yeah, that's all. I mean. How was it? Was it weird? No, it was cool. I've never seen this shit. Like, I had no idea what this fucking thing was. Like, I didn't realize that people. What on a? Oh, okay. I um some. What, when, oh, sorry. Did I say what? A, oh, oh, my bad. I'm saying wanna. I had somebody when I was real young try to teach me like etiquette just in my house, but I've never had an etiquette class. But I, I, I yeah, like my mom. Yeah, yeah, like, it was like, some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she so just. My, it was like uh, family members teaching me just like some just in case. Yeah, they were yeah, like, yeah, Your exactly. black ass better know how to, you know, eat correctly. In front. Like, it was that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. <clears throat> That's where I learned not to put like, my elbows on the table and shit. Yeah, yeah. all that shit. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. You know, use your fucking knife with your right hand and your fork, fork with, with the, the left. left. That yeah. sort of shit. But, like, I've never, you know, I've never seen, like, a class for it. I didn't realize mm -hmm. it was yeah, Okay. You eat from the inside <laughs> to... The outside, yeah. Jeez, Remember, to... when your mom used to feed you, it was like this? Yes. Okay, you guys are grown-ups now. I actually don't think oh. Nick is enjoying himself at all. He's not into that shit at all. No. Yo, that's like I know that you were like, so Those are the so highlights so from the edit? Yeah. Just him going like, yes and looking? Like, he yeah, must have not. He's like, that class looks, looks stupid as fuck. Um, I'm always gonna be myself. Yeah, you're not gonna be inside the outside the bowl. As in, like, enunciating and stuff like that. I can't act white. You, you can't. Okay, so that's your opinion? Yeah, you can't. I just don't, you know, really see no point into this racism thing. You know, I'm not the racist person, so all that stuff doesn't really matter to me. So what's kind of your, like, goal for this, then? Just to pass. Just to pass? <laughs> I'm here for the fun. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know, he, 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 <laughs> first of all, he's trying to be cool in front of her 100%. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Today will be the first day that what I work at the, Leo's bar. Where is he going to get all the white bar? Out of There's a bar too. He doesn't yeah. participate. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm being wild. For him saying that in white. See, the day in white. Well, you want to establish a rapport with all these guys. If you take care of them, they're going to take care of you. He thought he was an anime character right there, like staring off into the distance. I have to speak proper grammar, or as we black community say, I have to speak white. Yes, you see? Okay, I'm about to watch you. You must be a, re a real regular right here. Then I got into some conversation with a guy. There you go. It was so easy because they thought I was so white up in there. I just asked him a simple question. What is the neighborhood like? Yeah, well, this is pretty much so, a white area. Yeah. So you don't have any problems. Oh, OK. Fit yeah. right in. I grew up in this neighborhood. Area? And this is one of the last somewhat unaffected bastions of middle class Caucasian America uh, inside Los Angeles. Nice black community. The, uh -huh. Most of the cities around this area have changed significantly. This is the one that's almost like a, it's been good isolated one. for some reason. Wow. I kind of got that one feel. One of the good ones maybe. The neighbors want to stay that way. Exactly. They don't want a lot of change. Beach, the neighborhood wants to stay that way. Yeah. He said that. Stay. He said that so politely, but like, there's so much implied threat behind that. Yeah. They want a building. They don't want a lot of immigration because they've seen what's happening. They don't want immigration. Oh, okay. And it's taken the quality of life down. He just like went on and on. This is the last little white community. We want to keep it like this. In other words, this will be the place for you to move and bring. By the way, you're right. Manhattan Beach is like that. So. 
Still. I, I mean, yeah, somebody in chat said Manhattan Beach question mark. And literally yeah. Manhattan Beach stole a bunch of land from uh from blacks way back in the day. Still haven't really given them back that. Oh land. yeah, there's a there's a black family, right? That's a like black family only that recently got a house back. I think, they, I think they recently gave them some of the land back and shit, but yeah. they was Manhattan Beach has a lot okay, of fucking man. deeply rooted issues. Okay, man. I lived in Manhattan Beach. Oh, oh, so yeah. I learned a little bit about it when I was living there. Family, if you want to have your kids awesome. raised in a, in, a, in a good neighborhood, this area up here somehow remained untouched. Okay. So that's interesting. So okay. if you're looking for a safe place to raise your kids, you can't do better than this. I think. I think if I was in there in black, of course I would get that now. kind yeah. of information. But because Taking he thought over. I was white, he had that comfort zone. He spilled his guts. I was really blown away for him to say all that to me. It was tough. I, I know there is some people like that, but you want to think of this as, as a much better place. Black white. You know, Ice Cube is right. This is a good show. Well, I hope what happened for us I mean, today. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a great show. I want to walk down it's the so street, uh, you and I as black guys, and I want a white woman to Great's clutch called. the purse real quick or not look at you when you try to say hello. And I want to be in a store, and I want security to, you know, snoop around. Bruno tries to make light of my experiences of racism. It's very important to me that he sees what blacks deal with on a daily basis. My buddy from what well, I play ball with, um, Scott, and he's 6'7". Uh, a big guy and black and he says <laughs> i've never experienced racism i don't want you to you know go away it's like just that guy just it's looking for racism he's just always he just walks into a place he to, to be, to to be honest like, i think it's a mixture i yeah. think i think when somebody reacts to you in a certain way you do kind of look for it oh, that's and crazy. you never know why they're reacting to you in that way maybe they do hate black people uh or maybe they just you know their husband slapped them that morning when you're black and you're black all your life. You Bro, is the domestic abuse induced racism? <laughs> He's just coming up with new medical conditions, dude. He's like, oh no, it's just like, what if they were racist because their husband slapped them? This was on TV, dude. Yeah. Like, this is on national television. He, he knows. At least the other, like, white people or whatever the fuck, like, don't really know. Or they know that it's for, like, a reality TV show. They don't know exactly what it's for. Yeah. This man straight up knows, and he's just saying, that's how fucking confident he is in his worldview, talking to a black dude. You know <laughs> when it's a, a, a bitter person, a bad day, right. or Prejudice. or when you're just black. You know, as long as you sit there and negate everything I say, uh, you're not going to listen for it. You can debate, debate, but I just, debate, I tell you what, debate I'll be looking look for, for it. I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, you and I will be shopping, there and you, you can go check there out you the go. person over just, there. Just be receptive, that's all I ask. Absolutely. Okay. And you can even point it out to him. Okay. You know. All right. All right. Bro, it, it straight up took like eight minutes for Ryan to be like, fuck this. It is over. Maybe that's kind of happened to you. What it up? When I walked into poetry class, I couldn't have been more nervous. The whole class was scary to me because it was something so foreign. So yeah, I, like I decided that I'm going to just like, walk in there like, yeah, like why that not? Again. I'm me. Like, well, that's you that, that period. Then. Conquer some fear. Why not? Okay, ready? Go. Concentration. Concentration is the game. Keep the rhythm or you'll be at the game. Topic is colors. Purple. Brown. Black. Pink. Yellow. Silver. Off-white. Reddish green. Off-white? Shit! <laughs> I'm not about to go into a place and pretend that I know what I'm doing. But if for some reason I start changing and growing and learning in a different way that I didn't expect, I'll let it happen. They ran out of colors. They said black, brown, yellow, brown, brown, yellow. Uh, you're missing out on. You're, you're missing out on racial. Oh, at my ass. You said what now? I said you're missing out on Rachel Dolezal all vibing over For here. For some reason, I start changing and growing and learning in a different way that I didn't expect. I'll let it happen. When I started to realize that it did feel real. And she wanted to do the Macarena, dude. <laughs> what is happening? Yo, that's so I good. I feel like now I've got some friends on board, and that I needed.
the objective it's today is to find out yeah, yeah. whether we can roam like freely like without um, her experience is like the model excessive paranoia. Yeah, yeah, this is the idea. This this is the yeah, idea. but this is content. content. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Her experience is the model. Like her experience is actually yeah. like you know, but Bruno is standing it. But Bruno this is, is the juice. Bruno is yeah. the juice for sure. He's just an absolute villain. Like absolute <laughs> villain. Start to finish. Too. Our way. I'm going to be polite and respectful as I am to everybody, and I expect that they will be the same to me. I, I can't imagine somebody actually being rude to me or saying rude things. Or uh, I don't anticipate that at all. I hope you do get the experience of, of seeing that they're watching you a little bit different. You get a little slower service. They don't give a shit whether you buy uh, this or that, or you do get some looks. You could be the most pleasant person in the world, and it still could happen. Every time that Bruno debates that racism he, exists, is, it really uh, pisses black, me off. Like, You'll see how I approach yeah. life they as said, I walk into the store. And we'll see if somebody blows me off and how I handle it. You have That's bullshit. Right. You're sitting there and you want to sit on the little lily white pedestal no, and say shit is you, not you, happening bro, in the world. You said, oh, you said, in the yeah, you said, was it like thicker? Yeah. That's just like some regular ass hair he's got now. Yeah, they kind of gave up on it. Yeah, go, go right there. Go, yeah. Click that. That's when he meets him. 43. Yeah. But that's it drastically is different. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow, I didn't even notice that. That's. <laughs> Bruno just looks extra Italian. Yeah, dude. He just. <laughs> Bro. They just gave what? up. They gave up on Bruno, dude. Even the makeup team was like, dude, come on. This motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> well, it's different, right? That face. I think yeah. it's a little shorter. Yeah, he they gave him a Caesar. Yeah, he's just looking Sicilian right now. Me off. You'll see how I approach life as I walk into the store, and we'll see if somebody blows me off and how I handle it. That's bullshit. All you're right. sitting there and you want to sit on the little lily white pedestal and say shit is not happening in the world, and that's bullshit. I hear you. you no, I know it's out there, but I'm right trying to enlighten you on no, the fact no. that you have to approach life in a certain that's way and bullshit, not, not expect. When I tell example, you about my life, you say it's a bad day when I tell you that uh, someone um, doesn't acknowledge my existence or if I speak they don't speak everybody have a shitty day on that particular day that nobody wants to speak or I don't get good service or it takes them too long to, to, to deal with me because I'm black I've been black for damn 41 years almost I know when I'm being bullshitted because I'm black or when somebody having a bad day and that's the thing that you won't grasp or you won't understand because you want to debate every goddamn thing that we sit up in here and say and we're just trying to help you get the experience, but you won't get it. We'll see what happens. I'm all eyes. Give a fuck. He just literally everything he just said fucking bounced off of him, dude. He was just like, yeah, yeah whatever. We'll see what happens. Yeah. All ears. He is not all ears, okay? Are they walking around together? Things happen when you play. See that? Did you see that? What happened? She looking ran over. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Well, she looked and ran over. Just a little, 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 little thing. Yeah. I also feel bad for Brian uh, for a separate reason because this is like, I feel like this, is, this has got to be like when you go to the doctor and you're no longer sick. You know what I mean? And you're just like, well, I had the symptoms like last night, but now I kind of don't. And then the doctor's looking at you like, oh, I don't know. Where it's like, it's, well, it's, it's, he has to like literally explain to him microaggressions or, or all this other shit while he is he thinks racism does not exist <laughs> if in bro in, in even if he did if something extremely racist happened he would just find a way to like talk around yeah it, you know <laughs> he's acting like the racism tour guy yeah but you know why he's doing it once you start knowing you know she had but you know i know she was going around she had to because they were taking the whole sidewalk i was i was like right here with you yeah and they had to give it up i know she had to move over but i mean it's the way she did so she wouldn't have to look at me I experience that all the time, Brian. And that's not a super unique thing. And I looked at her and she looked right at me. You notice that? Did she look at you too? No. Okay. I was looking I was when we had like three yeah. seconds of eye contact. Okay. I truly believe that if you walk into an establishment, and carry yourself in a distinguished way mm -hmm. and greet people with respect and courtesy, they will respond in the kind. Really nice for me. Guess what? That's exactly what happened. To be fair though, that shirt is fire. Oh, that Bruno's wearing? Yeah, I would wear that shirt. Yeah, he's killing it with that one. That's, that's a good shirt. See what happened. Good, how are you? All right. <laughs> 
I like the seat you've got on. Oh, thank you. Because you only wear black and white shit. Okay. Yeah, I know. That's why it gives me right. a Bruno thinks that salespeople are coming over to help him, but they're really coming over to size him up. Okay. So he kind of came up to us and acknowledged us. Racism is out there in the film. You know what I think? I think from your reaction today, you're looking for it. I'm not looking for it. You know a Yo. snub. Is not I, I get snubbed now, too. But you and I, this evening, saw the same things. Mm -hmm. I saw one thing, you saw another. When a family is covering the entire sidewalk and they move over so that we can get by, you see that as them getting out of the way because you're black. You're looking for something that I think isn't there. You're thinking that everything is okay, and it's not. I would like for Bruno to just understand that it is a little bit more difficult being black in an all-white society than being white in an all-white society. If you come into a place and you've got this resentment and this expectation of prejudice, it's going to find you. If you go in with an open heart and love, and, and you know, you <laughs> can laugh. Cool. But cool. my life is, I get joy because I put joy out. Mm -hmm. I don't get, you know, suspicion because I'm not looking for it. I'm not coming at it with a chip on my shoulder. Like somewhere fucking and, uh, and well, no, I oh, think no, I feel like I think what they should have done is have him interact with cops. And and throughout the entire show, he never, uh, they never do that. I don't. Yeah, think. it's like because like Bruno gets to, like <laughs> Bruno's never gonna fucking understand from the experience that he's getting. Yeah, and he's also because the, fucking Los yeah. Angeles too. Like they're, they're running the, the car salesman in a room with a bunch of other black people, being in a, a singular store. Like, what the fuck is he gonna run into, dude? Yeah, I think having a cop come after him would have been like the best way. Just send, yeah. just, just sends even, even just sending someone to purposely <laughs> fuck with him. Yeah, I don't think you can do that. Though. I feel like that's <laughs> it's dangerous territory. But I mean, you're right. Or you could just set, put him in a situation where you know he'd react a certain way <clears throat> or something, and just like have a cop like go extra hard on him. I think I feel like he just. Make up another excuse for it anyway. I mean, yeah, probably. They're, they're, he has an excuse for everything. Uh, yeah, he he's like, he he. This is what he does, like over and over again. He's just like your own. He's like my own anecdotes is, uh, and from like my friends, my supposed black friends, if they exist, and also his like uh, own personal experience and point of view as a white man <laughs> supersedes the, the anecdotes of a black man <laughs> who's trying to explain like, to him. Quick question. Where the fuck is the bar that that uh was it Bruce or what's his name? Yeah, I think it was like where's the bar that he was working at compared to taking taking whatever his name to 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 Hollywood Hills or like yeah Beverly fucking, Hills yeah, yeah Beverly Hills shop well, take him to that town and get that bar or something yeah because they seem like very different environments like I don't know, I just don't get the way that they shape that up but maybe they do some more shit in the future episode or something. Very confused by that. I mean, it's also kind of weird to expect uh, Bruno to experience racism because I feel like he's he's just he's never gonna recognize it because it's like shit that he does to other people. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah it's pretty sure. And then he just interprets it as yeah. oh, it's just the way you take it. Yeah, like even the subtle way that I don't know. I I feel like even the subtle way that like liberals uh, sometimes like overcorrect or or. There was a really good Michael Che uh, bit about it on his new HBO show where he talks about like during uh, the BLM protest, like white people coming up to him randomly and being like, I'm so sorry about police brutality, like casually, where there's like the overcorrective behavior that's still like otherizing. Even then, he would not recognize that as racist. He would just be like, oh, look how nice white people are. <laughs> like, pretty much. Also, he just does not look black. That's another thing. But I was I wasn't actually gonna mention that because he's entertaining. But like, yeah, no, he definitely. Uh... He just looks really <laughs> tan. Like, <Yeah>. just... <laughs> fucking Mr. Somebody, please pull up the Mr. Krabs uh, tan. Just Google Mr. Krabs tan, please. Okay, dude, you've made a lot of good calls today. You made a lot of good calls today. Uh, tanned, tan Mr. Krabs. Let's see. Oh no no okay it's Patrick sorry it's Patrick. Star, yeah, SpongeBob tanned. Dude, I can't even fucking type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is fucking him, dude. Oh my god, dude. He just looks, yeah, he just looks a little tanned. Dude. He's not, this, 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 that's him. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's literally him. 
<laughs> yeah, he just got. Dude, he he looks like every uh, he looks like every German uh, tourist in Turkey. Like I had an aunt who used to put a Coca Cola on her skin, what? and apparently that shit burns you way worse. What? Yeah. What was the What was the intention? To get like as tan as Black Bruno, oh <laughs> straight up. Okay. Yeah. Coca Cola would do it. So would motor oil. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Motor oil, dude. I didn't know Coca Cola. I don't know. I mean, I don't know about motor oil, but yeah. My aunt used to put. My aunt used to put uh, straight up Coca Cola. One of my aunts used to put Coca Cola on her body. She just throws Coca Cola. Does it all? Yeah. You can clean your toilet with it. And she was dark as hell. Like she was always. She was as dark as as Black Bruno. Damn. You can clean your toilet with that shit too. Yeah. Clean your toilet. Is that true? I, I yes, always yeah. I always dump like oh, coke yeah. cans when I'm done with it. If I'm not gonna drink all of it on like the dishes and shit, because I assume maybe the acidity is gonna clean it, but I don't know if that actually does. That should'll clean your toilet. That should'll that should make your toilet spotless. My brother, that's all he used to do, like to clean his toilets, and that shit works. Pour some coke in that bitch. You can clean paintbrushes with coke. That's kind of crazy. And then you just drink it all down. <laughs> <laughs> you just take a scoop out of there. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, maybe I should separate my thoughts there. My... <laughs> <Delish>. <laughs> I do not drink. It really coke. burns to a chocolate color, but it really burns the skin. It's like a cancer imitation. Yeah, that's like, there's no way that shit was healthy. Mm. Oh, yeah, no. no, it's not. It's not good to fucking to tan, right? It's she not, like bathed no, in no, it, or she just good. poured it on herself. You should have saved the sea. No, no, no. She she would like pour it on herself and then like rub it. I think. Yeah. Should I stop drinking it? I mean, <laughs> drinking soda regularly probably isn't the best thing for you. It's a while's cool though. Mm -hmm. My Middle Eastern aunts, you would use beer or baby oil to tan because it causes and it causes skin cancer easily. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's fucked. Okay, let's. There, this is the. And that's what I get back. We can't, from we can't fire off another. So I feel like I, mm. you guys have been here for like eight hours. This has gone on way longer than I thought it was going to. <laughs> okay, uh, we can we can keep doing this uh, at a later date. But I want to watch the Whiteness Project one episode of that. He just oh, carries I want to show you one more knowing thing. Knowing that Bruno Rabbit. that people just don't oh, like it. You see what you want to see. Yeah, it's really bad. And you don't see what you don't want to see.